the unprecedented situation that has broken out in the national capital. Uh, now, in some of the places that saw violence in the afternoon, uh, there seems to be relative calm, but uh, there are other places like Nangloi where tension continues to build up. These pictures on your screen right now are from Redford. Earlier in the, day, uh, in the day, these are earlier pictures from Redford where people had occupied the ramparts. They had breached uh, uh, the past the security, went straight inside and also hoisted a flag uh, which had a religious symbol, uh, religious and uh, important to Sikhism. Now, uh, the police has completely taken over uh, control of the ramparts of the Red Fort. Uh, they have uh, pushed out all the protesters who had entered. Uh, there was uh, some violence also which was reported and uh, some of these protesters uh, who uh, were injured in this violence were also taken to nearby hospitals. We saw vans taking them, ambulances taking them to hospitals. Uh, and, but now the situation continues to be tense. Uh, in the vicinity of the Red Fort, because uh, in the area in and around the Red Fort, you still have people milling around and people teaming up and more and more tractors coming in. How is this situation going to be managed uh, closer to the night is going to be very, very significant. Uh, similar scenes uh, from Nangloi also, where there is a face off between uh, the police as well as uh, various protesters, as you can see in the screen right now. So this is uh, the developing situation right now. In the meanwhile, internet services has been suspended. Uh, they've been suspended at the Tikri border, at the Singhu border, uh, and in some other uh, volatile areas, particularly Nangloi, from where we are getting you these pictures. Uh, we are also hearing that uh, the Home Minister is holding a meeting with the, the Home Secretary and the Delhi Police Commissioner uh, to review the security system. First of all, to get a sense of uh, uh, how bad things are uh, to get a report from the Delhi police uh, as to what the what the situation is right now. Secondly, uh, to take stock and decide on whether paramilitary deployment can be increased or not. Now, that seems to be a possibility. Right now, you see uh, deployment of the central paramilitary forces like the Rapid Action Force, but uh, should there be a need to increase, that decision is going to be taken uh, in this meeting. Uh, and also uh, a decision on whether internet services shall continue to remain suspended or uh, its ambit will be reduced. All of that will be a subject matter of discussion in this high-level meeting that is taking place at Amit Shah's residence. Sunil Prabhu now joins us with all the latest. Sunil, uh, please do tell us uh, uh, what you're hearing on the ground, the situation uh, in most of the areas from the capital. We did get a report from Nangloi. Uh, we've got reports from the Red Fort. I believe that there was a casualty as well. That's right. As we speak, uh, Sanket, I think the most uh, important and I think uppermost in the minds of the uh, 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 Delhi police as well as the Home Ministry, uh, as well as Mr. Amit Shah, is to uh, handle this standoff uh, where there is a dead body of Mr. Navdeep Singh Hundal from Rudrapur, Uttarakhand, 26 years of age, who got married uh, just last year. Uh, and uh, there has been a very unfortunate incident and farmers have congregated uh, around his body uh, and waiting for other farm leaders to come uh, before they can uh, really say. Uh, I have uh, spoken to some of them. I hope you use those visuals as well as giving you an overview of the picture in the ITO. And I think uh, that's exactly right now the concern for the Ministry of Home Affairs and the Delhi Police, how to uh, tackle the ITO situation, which is extremely tense at this, at this moment, as I said, extremely volatile, uh, especially since there is a dead body uh, out there and uh, what uh, are they planning to do uh, to uh, solve that uh, situation uh, as you rightly pointed out uh, there are enough of paramilitary forces uh, usually during the 26 uh, 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 day celebrations uh, there is always uh, a huge uh, uh, congregation of paramilitary forces so there is enough of uh, uh, paramilitary forces uh, it is uh, clearly a colossal failure today of how things went uh, uh, were handled uh, not only is the Delhi police responsible, it's also the Ministry of Home Affairs uh, and many farm leaders are also uh, trying to uh, wash their hands off for what is uh, clearly very, very unfortunate. Right.